Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, we're moving on to, I believe this is round uh, three? Yes, round three, since Sam did have a bye first round. Won his last game, so now he's sitting at 2-0, and even though he didn't play. First one. <laughs> <laughs> yep, and his, uh, his opponent this round is going to be Brandon, who will be playing Loxley, Priorhood's Regulator. It's a Logo Sanctum Untamed. Yeah, it looks like an interesting deck for sure. Yeah, I'm excited to see uh, see how it works. There's, a, I feel like there's a lot of potential here. All right, well, let's just jump right in. All right. Ah, uh, yes, my favorite part of the game, shuffling. <laughs> well, you never know when to actually start the recording when you're playing because you got you're you're shuffling and. You're, you're kind of talking and reviewing, and you're just like, well, I need to shuffle my deck, but I also need to record, so I'm just going to hit the record first. This is so. true. Yeah. <laughs> we'll fix it in post. There, there you go. Yeah. The famous last words, right? <laughs> <laughs> As the person who I'm... is post, yes. <laughs> I was going to say, I've watched enough YouTube to, to know what that means. It means yeah. that, hey, guys, we really wanted to fix this, just didn't feel like it. <laughs> We're, we're lazy. <laughs> All right, looks like Brandon is actually starting with some chains. Is uh, is that six chains I see? That's six chains. I wonder if that's... Uh, that actually looks like it's accurate. I mean, he did draw only five on the initial draw. Yeah. He did not shed one, so I think that was probably a missed play on his part. Definitely. And we got Sam bringing out Bullet Eye right away, saying, hey... You've got nothing on the board. Uh, I'm going to play out this elusive creature and see if you can get rid of it. I know you want to. Yeah. And if you don't, I want to make you pay. Yep. Quixo coming down. That's a that's a tasty target for a bullet eye. I wonder if Sam has, uh, has the Shadows cards in hand to back it up, make it worth his while. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't really look like it. As far as shadows, I see a Magda and a Pawn Sacrifice. Yeah. He's got an angry something. He's got an angry smash to kill uh, kill Quixo. Quixo, uh, the art on that, fun fact, uh, is modeled after one of the game designers, Brad Anders. Yes, and he is somebody who... Every now and then graces us with a presence at, at FFG Game Center. <laughs> oh, he is a very tall man and a very fun... He's he's just a fun dude to talk to. So I, Very much so. Yeah, so so I don't feel bad about the <clears throat> spending as much money as I've spent on this game. <laughs> I think you're preaching to the choir there. <laughs> See. And I don't know if this is something we brought up in the in the other episode or not, or the other game. Uh, Sam is using washers. He's got two different sizes. Small ones are one, big ones are three. Mm -hmm. In case people were wondering. I think Sam made the right move there. Yeah, just to... Just go shadows to get Lord Golgotha off the board because he is just a he is a small creature killer. Definitely, and it would be a very easy way to get rid of that bullet eye. Mm -hmm. Couple Dexters capturing. Yep. Down to three chains. I'm always amazed as to the uh, just how impactful uh, not being able to draw one card can be. It definitely, uh, I'll tell you, every now and then when I run into it, it's like, man, if I had that one extra card, you know, or I had a game where I had a deck with several chains on it, and game ended, I really needed a bait and switch in the end, two cards down. If I didn't have those chains, I would have got it. I would have had it when I needed it. 
Yeah, and that's a great point. You know, those those chains, not only do they keep the options out of your hand in the immediate, but they also kind of slow down the, uh, the rate at which you get to pull cards. <laughs> I think he was trying to show us his hand there. <laughs> Sam, do it again and slow down. We couldn't see it. Yeah. Oh, we got Common Cold came out. Common Cold, let's yep. see. Tumor Mooks. You know, I did notice that he does have a save the pack in this deck. I wonder if he's going to be able to clear the board. You know, it's nice to play it out right away when you get that combo, but... In this case, it looks like he didn't have it, but everything's still damaged, and Sam doesn't really have any healing, so... Yeah. Yeah, we have not seen a whole lot of uh, damage removal out of this deck. Getting rid of War Drummer to kill the Dexters. I think... Uh, I think I probably would have gone for the Mermooks, uh, just to get him off the board, uh, knowing that... Yeah, I I yeah, take care of those Dexters anytime I wanted. Well, there you go. That that's why he had a, he had a second pawn sacrifice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, once again clearing that board, maintaining that that board state. Yep, and there it is. He he fell into his own trap. Uh, bullet eye having to destroy a creature because his opponent had none, he ultimately had to go for his own urchin. And it looks like Sam's sitting at uh, check nine. And uh, his opponent's sitting at zero. That's kind of a, that's kind of a bleak uh, outlook on life right there. Yeah, uh, this is definitely a depressing place for him to be right now. I think we've all we had those games. Oh, definitely. I've had multiple. <laughs> Surgeon Zakio coming out. I wonder where that damage is going to go. I mean, Bullet Eye's great. Remiel's great. Taking out Remiel. I thought I saw an Inspire in there, so let's... Uh, Yep. yep, there's that Inspire. Oh, looks like he was not paying attention. He wanted to go, that after, hole. Yep, go after Magda to get those two Ember back. But, uh, yeah. yep, just going to go after the second Remiel. Yeah, I say we've all fallen into that elusive trap once or, once or twice. Yep. So Sam's sitting now at one key, three amber. Now looks like his opponent up there with one amber. I'll play Sanctum as well. Uh, yeah. That's, uh, that's what I'm seeing. Sam playing his own charge. I don't think Zekiel is going to last too much longer. No, no, no. Yeah, I know. Oh, see if it's a me or not. No, deal two. But it says to an enemy creature. Oh, it says enemy. All right, there we go. There's the discussion to see if it was enemy or if every time he plays one, he has to do two to anything. Mm -hmm. um, Sam's favorite card, Champion Tabris, <laughs> coming down right next to a Shadow Self. Great placement. Yeah, a really good placement for Tabris. That'll that'll give Tabris at least a couple, a couple more attacks, getting getting more captures on. Uh, the Just way, put, put. yeah, the way Sam is able to use Tabris and the way that we've seen him use Tabris, uh, not only in the last game, but uh, just in our casual matches, uh, I I thoroughly believe that Tabris is going to be out there, uh, if not until the end of the game, uh, for at least the next 10 minutes. <laughs> I, I would have to agree with you. Like I said, <laughs> the... Uh, well, he's got a deck out that that's got Tabris and Scout, and that's just 
it's and with I think it's with the shield of justice or something. It, it's just horrible to play against. Yeah. Tremor coming down, <laughs> stunning everything. Double punch, Dexter. That is the second. That is the second time we have seen both of those Dexters go back to the top of the deck. Yeah, well, and with the fact he brought them out so early and had chains, I mean that's just unfortunate for him. It's it's like okay, well, I only have so many cards I can draw to begin with. Now these Dexters are coming back in my hand. Yeah. That's uh, that's definitely something that I don't think he took into account when he uh, he started playing him. Dropping that Effervescent Principle to get Sam off of his second key. And to Fogify to uh, prevent him from attacking, and we know that Sam likes to clear the board. Yep. We've got, uh, looks like Brandon's got two Virtuous Works in hand. Oh, yeah. I, you know, earlier in the game, I really appreciated the way that Sam was able to control the board uh, using mostly his uh, Shadows creatures. Uh, that's not something you see a whole lot. You know, typically you'll see Brobnar or Sanctum doing a lot of the board control. And now he's brought down a Bulwark next to that Tabris who's already next to a Shadow Self. <laughs> that's rough. So the uh, champion Tabris, six power, four armor, next to a shadow self. So that means that all the damage that is dealt to champion Tabris is reduced by four. Then the shadow self absorbs it. Uh, I don't think that Tabris is going anywhere ever. I'll play a smash just on that Dexter. Now see, he went, he went, um... Brobnar, and I'm sure it was to, to play some cards out of his hand. But I mean, at this point, you'd almost just say, hey, I'm going to stick going Sanctum and just reap until the game's done. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I think he made the right play here because you notice he did play two Gauntlet of Commands, and he already had the War Chest out, so now at this point, he's, uh, he's in a pretty good position where he can... Uh, maintain control of the board. There's the save the pack. That is going to do a lot of damage to Sam. Yeah, that's going to clear half his board. Yep. I think now is the time when we're going to see him go Brobnar a lot more. Uh, simply so he can get, uh, get the use out of those gauntlets and the war chest. Brandon up to four Ember. I, I honestly say I think that's the, the most he's had this game so far. I think you're right. I'll play Brabner. Sam going Brabnar again. And I think we're going to see uh, pretty much everything he's got out. Uh, everything that Brandon has out there is going to die. Sam is going to get uh, another three Ember at the least. Yeah, and he's brought out a Screech Bomb. As I was say, and at this point, I mean, bring our fight with Tabris, fight with your staunch knight. There it is. Yeah. So that's definitely a card that, at this stage in the game, has to be gone. Yeah. Unfortunately, in order to do that, in order to dismantle that Tabris, you got to get rid of that Bulwark. Staunch Knight killing Dust Pixie. It's two creatures down. Turning on the War Chest, gain two. And and kind of kind of just glancing through Brandon's list here. I mean, he already lost his uh, Lord in Sanctum. Other than that, I mean, there's there's a couple other bigger Sanctum creatures out there, but other than that, there's a whole lot of threes and sitting in his deck right now. Yeah. I, 
I don't think I've seen a missed play out of Sam yet. And and I'll tell you, that's one of those things uh, with playing against Sam. He is, he he's a fast player, but he thinks everything through. Mm -hmm. And he can he can see moves before anybody else does. Sometimes it's crazy. <laughs> that yes, that is uh, that's absolutely true. We were uh, sitting down playing. Uh, I was playing against him with a deck that I just I I was not happy with. Um, and I had a massive untamed lineup, and he just looked at me and he said, "Dude, you you won the game." Yeah. Oh yeah. He was sitting at check uh, check for his last key, and he's like, "Yeah, you've got it." And we were both sitting there, looking at it, and being like, uh, "I don't know what you're talking about." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sam lamenting the fact that he doesn't have a deck with virtuous works. <laughs> That is, that's kind of crazy how much Sam plays and likes Sanctum, and he hasn't gotten one with Virtuous Works. Mm -hmm. but it looks like Brandon Let's has take. gone up to nine. <laughs> Sam getting his second key. I don't know if he can stop this. Well, he's got a he's got a uh, a Screech Bomb. He's got a Tabris. Oh, I think I saw a doorstep in his hand. Oh, that's that'd just be sad. Yep, there it is. Oh, there it is. You know, we were discussing doorstep. Um, I don't know if you were in part of the conversation, but a lot of us have, and and we've decided that doorstep is the best way to get people off keys. I mean, you have your burn the stockpile. It's great. You have the doorstep. Best one. You've got your bait and switch and, and uh, you know, too much to protect. But with all those other ones, you kind of need to still kind of get something else out there and moving for it to work to its full extent. Doorstep is just a straight, we're going to drop you to five. You can't forge a key. Yeah. Yeah, I think as far as uh, tools to get your opponent off check, it is absolutely one of the strongest. I don't know if it's the best, but... Well... It's effective. It's efficient. Okay. And it's definitely something I will never say no to. I was gonna say that 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 way you can never play doorstep again because you did not say it was it was the one the best one out there. <laughs> you stick with your bait and switches. I you know what I love my bait and switches. I I have I have been known to bait and switch for one ember to get my opponent off of a key and then steal another two or three. Well, it definitely works. So Sam ended up getting him down to two off of that nine. Yeah. There you go. Gatekeeper. Good Gate time for that to come out. Gatekeeper is a uh, uh, doorstep light. <laughs> Doorstep, you can possibly get this back if you try hard enough. Yeah. Interesting choice to go Brabnar. Uh, I think I probably uh, would have just gone Sanctum and reaped for five. Sam is uh, systematically dismantling his opponent. We have seen him at the most at <laughs> nine ember. He has not been able to forge a single key. Well, that was a sassy effervescent principal flip. <laughs> well, at this rate, it... He's lucky. If it was me, I would have just thrown it in his face, and I would have walked away. <laughs> <laughs> and those Dexters come back out. I am very curious as to why he has not discarded them yet. Uh, you know, discarding a Dexter, I think, is a move that, as well as Bad Penny, is a move that a lot of people just kind of gloss over. 
and completely forget that they can do that. I think you might be right. I, you know, those Dexters are really slowing down uh, his tempo, not not uh, not allowing him to cycle through his deck and uh, get to the rest of his tools as fast as possible, or get back to some of the tools that he needed. Yep. Well, this is that was the second Everbrescent principle he played, and that's all he's got in the deck. Here we go. Sam's sitting on on a key again. And is there a way for him to bring it on, bring him off at this point? I don't think so. I think he might just be playing this out, just to yep. play it out. But you know what? I uh, I have absolutely done that as well. Um, even if I'm going to lose, I, I always like to play it out just to just to see what I can do, just to see, you know, uh, some of the things that I can play around with, and just to see how much Ember I can get on the last turn to see how close that game actually was. Definitely. Something I do as well. I, I always feel better ending a game not forging all my keys with enough Ember to forge a key had he not... Had he not uh, actually, you know, won right off the bat there. Yeah. Yeah, I would definitely say that Sam had control of this game uh, from the very start. Yeah, I think had he not, uh, had, he not had those Dexters for as long as he did... Uh, he would have been able to get that Sanctum board established a lot faster and uh, start to fight back. Looks like that is the game. Yeah, let's say Grey Monk there at the bottom. Yeah. That was... Uh... <laughs> Samson on a whole bunch of... Whole bunch of uh, steel cards there at the end too. So he's like, "Hey, even if you would have gotten all that going, I probably would have stopped you." Yeah, he was sitting on two routine jobs: a miasma, a shadow self, a uh, hidden stash. Uh, you know, Sam oh. is really showing us what a, a a solid player can do when they really understand their deck. Yeah, and like I said, it's it, we've we've said it before. We'll say it again. Sam loves Sanctum, and he loves it for a reason. He's good at playing it. He understands how to get the most effectiveness out of it. And, Agreed. I mean, it, it shows it. Yeah. So, so that puts him at at three and zero, oh, and we're we're coming up to the uh, the three and zero oh games. Um. So we'll see how he does. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Stick around. The next one is right around the corner.